Adventure Cafe presents. I'm Christine Dunn here at Brandeis University where they're holding the second annual Innovation Showcase. Joining me here right now is Dibarshi Nandi. He is a professor at the International Business School here and also a mentor to many of the students interested in entrepreneurship. Thanks for joining. Thank you. It's a pleasure. So tell us a little bit about why we're seeing such growth in innovation and entrepreneurship on campuses today. So I think uh, you know part of it uh, probably would trace back to the uh, the great success that startup companies have had and the environment that we have in in Massachusetts in in the country in general and uh, you know let's face it it's exciting so uh, you know it's something new and something that's uncharted territory that everybody would love to jump in and uh, see what the challenges are and then try and come up with a solution. Do you ever get concerned, though, that there's a little bit of an innovation bubble? So, uh, yes, uh, people do talk about bubbles a lot, uh, particularly also fina in finance. And uh, um, I, don't, I don't think that uh, uh, bubbles are necessarily bad because I think at some point they help to propagate the level, the jump up in the technology. Uh, and uh, what really uh, hurts at that is uh, um, companies that uh, you know take advantage of the of the rise and uh, ride the wave and uh, um, go into a position where um, they might not intrinsically have. Uh, what it takes to be out there. And I think that's where uh, a lot of the venture capitalists and uh, you know investors uh, in this sector might be able to fill in, in kind of screening or selecting companies and uh, or, chan or, or mentoring companies uh, in helping them pivot towards something where uh, it might become more valuable. When you're working with students here as a mentor, what is your vision for them? What do you hope that they get out of the program? I mean, of course, everybody would love a successful venture, but as a professor trying to create a framework for learning, what are some of the lessons that you hope they take away? So I, my, my goal is to that, uh, you know, whatever they learn in class, that they find the chance to apply it. And uh, in, uh, if, if I can see them actually being able to apply concepts uh, in a setting uh, within the university because it kind of provides them, it, it's the first time they're doing it, and it kind of provides them with uh, a degree of comfort which they might not really see in the real world. And that probably would give them a lot of confidence if they go out and pursue this. So. When you think about Brandeis' innovation program compared to some others that exist, not just in Massachusetts, but across the country, to you what differentiates the program? So. We are new, we are small, uh, but I think uh, we are very dedicated and uh, we have excellent people here who provide a lot of their time and commitment to the students and help them uh, succeed. So we can relate to our students being small, we can actually work with them one-on-one -on -one, and that I think provides us with a, a really great uh, competitive advantage. If you were talking with a student who was considering the program, what would be two lessons or two pieces of advice that you would give to them before they jump in? Before they jump into the program or before they jump into a... Before, uh, they, jump into a, the pro, before they jump into the program. So I think uh, that it is, uh, it is good to have a reasonably good idea. It always helps. Uh, but, you know, that doesn't clearly define always how successful it would be. Commitment is much more... Uh, uh, important I think and the ability to listen to others to take advice from others and adapt and uh, change as we go forward uh, that would be probably the most important thing I think that would make you successful. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us here. Thank you. It was a pleasure. For Venture Cafe Presents, I'm Christine Dunn.